So mother, today with you, because um, obviously I inherited all of my sporting prowess from you and not my father, mm -hmm. I thought we could talk about my top five sporting achievements. Now I know there are a lot and it's going to be hard to, to try to decipher them all down and work out what the top five are. Mm. But I'm thinking number one is obviously the assisted Jermaine Deferred soccer age. So we'll stick that in at number one and just like get that out of the way. And just put it out of his reach with precision, with that left foot, onto the left, there it is, and away from the goalkeeper, and what a goal. Definitely my greatest ever sporting achievement, but I thought you might be able to help me with some of the earlier ones when I was at school, yeah. and I was crushing it yeah. on the field. Well, you were certainly crushing my aspirations. I, but... I seem to remember differently. I think I was pretty accomplished as a sportsman. Yeah, I mean, I did. I must confess that I did do that terrible mother thing when you were at school of ringing the Gloating. head of games. No, ringing the head of games and saying, why is my son not in the first 11 or why is he not in the first 15? And why was it? Why? Because it would make all the other kids look bad. No, no. Sadly, it was just... I was in one first, first 11 team. Do you remember when I started up the lacrosse team at Marlborough? <laughs> Because I was like, if I start up a sport that yeah. doesn't exist, yeah. then I can make myself captain and definitely be in the first yeah. 11. But yeah. then the problem was it was quite popular and a lot yeah. of people took it up. Yeah. So then I wasn't even in the first team <laughs> of the fake sport that I'd started just to ensure that I could be captain and in the first 11. Yeah, that's quite embarrassing. Presumably too, you had a whole design process in the uniform that you were in a way, because it was all about the look. It was all about the look. Headbands yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Colourways. And... But then I not, I completely lost interest once then a load of <laughs> four talented and skillful children yeah. joined the team. I was like, okay, I'm done with this now. I've set it up. You go. Yeah and do your, your I think thing. another mistake that you made is that, which your sister did which is that you pick a thing like athletics and you think what is it that nobody wants to do mm. Molly said nobody wants to do those hugely long sprints i.e. the 1500 800 so I'm going to do that because I'll get in on that yeah I mean they are killer races the yeah. 800 and the 1500 yeah. what did I do nothing what do you mean I did? Well, I don't, you did athletics. I did. Did you? Yeah. I don't remember that. I did. What did you do? Shot. <laughs> Stop well, I mean, you're built for the shots, yeah. clearly. More of, a, more of a, like, what was the one with the stick? Uh, the pole vault. Yeah. yeah. I was actually thinking javelin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's pole vault. Yeah. The yeah. pole vault. Yeah. I could have done that. I think you did hurdling a few times. Hurdling. Yeah, N not great. No, I think not you great. crashed every hurdle. Cricket. Let's talk about cricket. Okay. My, great cricket. My time. abiding memory of you with cricket is yep. becoming top scorer. We were so proud. Unfortunately, it wasn't for your school. Oh, yeah. That was the day that we arrived no. at the school to watch our lovely son and his cricket match. And um, we arrived on the touchline to be told that he was actually playing for the other school who didn't have enough players. So he then became top scorer. For Wellington. Wellington. Rather than more. 17 not out against my own school <laughs> in front of my parents. That's definitely, and, that's definitely in the top five. Yeah, not only scoring, your parents, high but scoring. also the headmaster was standing there saying, oh, Jack's doing very well. I said, yes, unfortunately for Wellington. Was he the headmaster he was, of Wellington? No, he was the headmaster, headmaster of Marlborough. Marlborough. He didn't but the headmaster realize. of Wellington was like, yeah, who's yeah, this exactly, kid? Exactly. We want to get him up the right. get him signed up. I said, any discount? I was also, um, I used to bowl. Um, yeah. And I bowled. A uh, style of boat. It was spin. It was spin that didn't spin. Uh, <laughs> but it, handy. Maybe that's why I didn't. I didn't bowl much, and then batted once for yeah. the other for the other school. Can I just say, your brother Barney, on the other hand, do you remember going to watch him at a cricket match where he got something like five for thirteen? Five for thirteen. Yeah, or thirteen for five, whichever way around it is. Well, it wouldn't he, be thirteen for five. No, no, he, he started five bowling for at other, at other matches. Do you remember that? Five for thirteen. <laughs> Sorry, you can't more than thirteen wickets yeah, yeah. in an innings. If he did, then he was he, really, really good. good. Maybe yeah. he bowled against his old own school as well. Yeah, he got like a couple you. for yeah, them yeah, and yeah. then a couple for the other side. No, five he, for thirteen. Five that was 13. a very proud moment, but that was Barney. Sorry, not yeah, you. Yeah, sorry, Barney. Barney. So he's so good at cricket, he can yeah. get more wickets than there actually are to get. <laughs> no, it's just my ineptitude with the rules of the game, <laughs> or indeed the logistics of the game. Okay, so okay. No, I just I've, let's there find is one. some other one. There you is know. one which I absolutely love, which is quite weird, 
But when you were in the, whichever rugby team it was, I think it was called the Fourths or the Pub Team or something at Marlborough. It was known as the Pub Team, I think, because I'm not sure training was too serious. Okay. You, you were the, the designated kicker. Yes. And you had this very weird yeah. habit of not using the cone that they put the rugby ball in. You would take your boot off. The boot that you kicked with, so the right and boot, the put the ball in the boot, yeah, just the cone, up on my yeah, boot. and then kick, kick it with, it with a bare foot. Because it got more accuracy. He always does this. Have you never seen him do this? And I could get okay. so much power. I could kick further than the guy that used to kick for the first team. Unfortunately, I wasn't quite as accurate. <laughs> that yeah. could be because my foot was all swollen yeah, was and in say, agony. Did it not hurt? Not really, because it was quite a thick sock. And also, you know. I mean, quite... I've got photographic error. I'm yeah, I know. Share a photo. Of this and I, and I got some great conversions. Yeah, I will. I got some I'll great give conversions. That. And yeah. then would ha walk around with a limp for the rest of the week. But. <laughs> I, You've had to have foot surgery. I got some great conversions yeah. for the forts. That's amazing. Unfortunately, we only scored, we scored very few tries as well. So it meant yeah. that the foot was, was kind of safe because yeah. you'd only have to kick maybe twice a game, <laughs> yeah. which meant that you were able to use that technique. If I was playing for a better team that was scoring more tries, yeah, you that technique might not have worked. Out the window, yeah. The other thing is, another rugby sorry, one. just one other thing on that, okay. is that it used to confuse the opposition exactly. so much. They, they were so bemused by this whole spectacle that then actually you would sometimes get a try after you've done a conversion because they were still thinking why is he done this that? guy with the boot yeah. situation yeah so let's slot that in number okay. three okay so we've okay. got number Jimmy four yeah. as well i've just remembered another rugby one yeah wasn't there a time that i played for Roslyn park and i again played for quite a low level team and i never really had that many moments of um greatness yeah uh but i do remember there was one game where I got the ball on the wing and I broke through a couple of tackles and I was like, I'm away. And it was like, I ran the length of the pitch yeah. and everyone was cheering, like he's finally gonna get his try. And I like dived over the line, touched it down, like hands in the air, like slow-mo moment. Yeah. And then some other boy ran and picked it up and I had grounded it over the 22 and not the try line. <laughs> I got the wrong line <laughs> and I had scored a try that but wasn't a try. try. I'd literally just run and put the ball down for someone in else to go and pick up. Yeah, so in the, the other boy the then scored the try. So then he picked it up and then they played on. Um, I don't it's because they didn't have like big posts yeah, yeah. when you play at that How level. How old were you? Well, I was pretty young. I mean, right. I, did, I, I never made that mistake again. I was used to playing glasses. That was not That's safe. That's not great. No. Uh, am I thinking though at that point it was touch rugby rather That's than That's why probably. That was touch rugby. That was why I started wearing glasses when I played rugby. Because yeah. of the 22 incident. <laughs> yeah. Because I was so short sighted. I was like, yeah. here's the line. Yeah. I mean, it did worry me that glasses situation. Yeah, that was not. Yeah. That yeah. was irresponsible parenting, if anything. Mm. Yeah. That's what why about. I had to go and do lacrosse for the helmet. <laughs> Safer. What about, I mean, you, the, you never got into those really niche sports at, at Marlborough, like fives and rackets and all Fencing. of those. Did you do any of those? No, I did a little bit. Quidditch. We didn't do Quidditch, mother. <laughs> Wasn't that kind of school? <laughs> I, uh, the golden snitch. The golden snitch. Yeah. No, I didn't do any of those sports. What Why did you not do rackets or fives or? Because they're lame. I'd rather okay. be bad at a good sport than good at a bad sport. Uh, okay. I guess that was my approach. And in hindsight, I probably should have picked something a little bit niche. Yeah. Or just made lacrosse sound less appealing. I was too good a salesman, really. Yeah. What about swimming you didn't do because you, you just couldn't cope with the lenses and the glasses and all that? No, the thing. chlorine allergy. Yeah. A little, chlorine too, allergy. little chlorine yeah. in there and I'd go from yeah. Jamie Redknapp to Harry Redknapp like that. Mm -hmm. Can I just ask why, given that I my big game, because I wasn't allowed to play soccer as a young woman because they didn't really have soccer for women mm. then which is great i had to stop when i was i was in the boys team <coughs> at school yeah and then i had to stop because they didn't have changing room facilities for me even yeah. though i was better than all the boys so i took up hockey yeah why did you never take up hockey because i love hockey weird sport lame sport so jack could play hockey for you sometime 
Well, I'm not really sure. meant to. Um, they're meant to be women. Because we're in a league, you can't really have a boy playing oh, for you. No. You could wear one of those wigs. Yeah. Not a lens. It's quite good. I mean, we watch a lot of hockey. Mm-hmm. Those can watch you. Who can watch you play hockey. Yeah. Sorry, who? The only person to win a cup for sport in our family is you. Oh my god! Captain's Don't we know cup. about it? The captain's, captain's cup, cup that you won for your hockey team, and then you got paraded around everywhere for a yeah. year and taken to every single event. Everyone was photographed with that cup. Yeah. People thought you'd had a mental breakdown. <laughs> Do you know what though? The Leicester team, I got you and the yeah, Leicester I'm gonna, team together. I have photographic evidence, which... Up. They just won the Ranieri. Premier League. They won the Premier League. And you were like, would you like to see my cup? I was like, mummy, they've literally just won the Premier League. I don't know how excited they'll be about your hockey cup. And lo and behold, there they are holding the cup with you. I, could, do you know what? That was the most brilliant year when I had that cup. It became a thing, the cup, did, yeah. that I took around with me. And there was one moment when I found myself at yet another event, at which was the Premier League Cup. Mm. And I had a photograph, I went up to the Premier League Cup with my cup and the security man went, could you move away, move away. And I said, look, I've got this cup, I just need to get a photograph of me with this cup and the Premier League Cup. And he said, okay, very quickly, do not tell anyone that I've let you do this. And so I stood up onto the dais, I've got, I've got a picture of me with the Premier League Cup and my cup. It's so exciting. And Ranieri, Ranieri, and Mares, and yeah. Kasper Schmeichel. Kasper Schmeichel was very excited to see my cup. Mares, Ranieri. Yeah. Both left. I'm not <laughs> saying it's the cup's fault, but. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they saw that and just thought. Um, who we else? We can't achieve think? anything else now. Do you know, I literally cried when I had to give the cup back because obviously somebody else won it the following year. Mm. I literally cried when I had to hand it over because this is my big moment. It's the only thing I've ever won. Is that the only thing that any of us have ever won for a sport? Yes, exactly. Don't worry. I've never won anything. I've never had a cup to hand over. Your father never won anything sporting wise. Because no. he didn't really do sport. He was scorer. the first 11 scorer for cricket yeah. and the orange man for yeah. the rugby team. So you do have a lot to thank me for on that. I do. Because I took up you know, that role. Took up that role. Who was it who used to, on the common in Putney, with you and Barney, who was it that was one floating over the corners and the passes for you to volley yeah. in? Or, more likely, being in goal yes. whilst you two just blasted me with shots. Yes, you mother. Yeah. And you floating, Danny was doing, was in the house. <laughs> floating around. <laughs> floating around. Yeah. Well, that's not what I was thinking floaters. of. Floaters. <laughs> doing floaters. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving a few floaters around the house. Yes. And you were floating in the grosses. Yeah. So what about wasn't... tennis? Tennis? There was some really good tennis oh, yes. at Marlborough, but you never Well, got here, there, let's no. make okay. this the final sporting achievement. Okay. My mother, who brought me up, who taught me to play all the sports that I can play, and as a child, would be able to beat me at all of them. Until last year, when we played tennis, and I bageled her. Six love, six love. Can I just say I have a very bad knee injury? That's why six love, six love. Also, it's not getting more. Hobbling around the court. Torn meniscus. Some sons would soft pedal it back to her, not this guy. No, <laughs> This guy blasted. had years, years of being humiliated at the hands of his mother and thought, now it's time for payback. If anyone had looked over, they would have thought that I was the biggest arsehole in the world. My mother, like, hobbling around with a swollen, smacking it down. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I do remember Screaming that. in her face. I went full Goran Ivanisevic yeah. at the end. Yeah. Can I just say, though, that you got to the age of 30 before that. Your brother, we're back to Barney, he adopted a different policy, which was that he learned how to do a drop shot very early doors, really? which always got me, and to the point that I wouldn't play with him. Yeah. He said, fine, so do you want me to not try then? Mm. I said, no, obviously try, but drop shots are quite boring, because mm. all, all that happens is that I ping the ball over to you, you drop shot it, I lose the point, there's not really much of a rally going on. Yeah. And he said, well, no, fine, okay, well then I'll do rallies straight back to your racket mm. then. And he beat you um, 80 love each game, didn't he? <laughs> 13, 13 love. 13 love each set. Um, good old Barney. Barney, bless him. He's, well, those, he's very good at a drop shot though. There's my top five. Can I just... I know, achievements. There's one thing and there would have been more if you'd been more of a tiger mother, as I always say in these videos. If you pushed me harder as a child, maybe got some kind of anabolic steroid into me. 
maybe these five sporting achievements would be a little bit more impressive than scoring a try over the 22. Can I do it? Can I just, before we go, do a massive, massive name drop? I mean, like, you know how you love a yeah. name drop clunk? There it is. Yeah. I met last night at an event. Yeah. Robbie Williams. Right. And I was introduced to Robbie Williams by his wife, who I'd met five minutes previously. And yeah. she said, Robbie, can I introduce you? This is Jack Whitehall's mother, Hillary. And he said, oh, Jack Whitehall, the footballer, who I know through the um, UNICEF games, yeah. uh, Soccer Aid. I said, Robbie, for me, my proudest moment of my whole life was that cross to Jermaine Defoe. Yeah. Sticking in the net. Jack's cross. He said, he's a jolly good footballer. Yeah. Now that's affirmation from Robbie Williams. Thank you very much. The great Robbie Williams. And the only reason I play that pass is because I looked up and I saw how much space there was to run into and I was like, fuck that. I am exhausted. I'm literally just going to hoof this forward yeah. and hope that something happens. Hoofed it forward. Jermaine Defoe on it. Jermaine Defoe is the most amazing He's striker. Like, yeah. Took it on one time. Like scored gazelle. past the keeper. Yeah. Everyone turned around to me and was like, that was an amazing pass. I was like, it was a clearance. <laughs> I was aiming for the touch. I was trying to kick it into touch. I sliced it <laughs> and, it went, and it just landed at his feet. So, yeah, no, that was, yeah, it was the greatest clearance that's ever been played. Yeah. Even if it went in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> what it was intended. Well, you fooled Robbie Williams. Yeah, I fooled everyone. So let's yeah. just keep it that way. <laughs> Pinpoint pass. Yeah. Precision. But if you watch back the footage, I'm looking the other way. Okay. Anyway. anyway sporting achievements. Sporting I'm achievements. I'm very proud of you, Jack. Thank you, Mumsa. You are A-OK. -okay. I'm a tryer. 10 out of 10 for trying. 10 yeah. out of 10 for trying. Yeah.